All right, Mavs fans, we're still awaiting the MRI results for Luka Doncic's calf strain. If you want to send him some good vibes, because Lord knows we need it, type 77 in the comments. We need Luka healthy. We need him playing in this series against the Jazz. Keep the good vibes going. Type 77 in the chat, and let's break down the latest news and really rumors around Luka Doncic's injury. You're watching Mavericks Today by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. And hey, the Mavericks won 52 games with the win over the Spurs last night, but they might have lost Luka Doncic. Oh, no. Let's get into some Luka Doncic injury rumors. Here's a photo that surfaced earlier today where we assume he's heading to the MRI machine there at the hospital. You can't really see super well because there's someone walking with him. Casey Smith, the team's trainer, that is him. Uh, good eye, uh, producer Coop. Uh, there's a boot on Luca's left calf foot area, whatever you want to call it. He's wearing a boot entering the building. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, as he was set for an MRI this afternoon, we assume that MRI has taken place. We're still awaiting the results to see how severe the calf strain is. We'll talk about what we know and what the possible outcomes of this could be. But first... How many games will Luka miss? Um, one, two, the rest of the season? I hope not. Zero? Let us know how many games will Luka miss before uh, or as the Mavs head into the playoffs against the Utah Jazz. So let's talk about the latest injury rumors because obviously last night he left that game uh, with a left calf strain and uh, Mavs fans have been in shambles, including myself, for the past 20 hours. Had that MRI this afternoon and, you know, we kind of said earlier today, oh, should we do a video earlier? But we're like, let's wait and see what the MRI results are. And we should have seen this coming. The Mavs uh, like to keep things under wraps and that's how things are right now is nothing has been revealed just yet. Game one looming quickly Saturday at noon. But just kind of seeing how this played out, the one thing that could not happen in one of these final games happened. You could not have Luka Doncic go down with a legitimate injury. And even if this is a grade one calf strain, and we'll kind of talk about what's the difference between grade one, grade two, yada, yada. Even if it's grade one, that is still notable. Like, that will still impact his play even if he doesn't miss any time. It's brutal. It's disastrous. It's... Uh, it's incredibly frustrating, to say the least. Now, Adrian Wojnarowski tweeted this right, you know, minutes after it happened that there's initial optimism that Dallas uh, star Luka Doncic hasn't suffered a significant injury. Sources tell ESPN team is calling it a strained left cat. And then you saw, you know, Twitter doctors, but then real doctors, you know, and trainers start to weigh in. Here's Jeff Strott's. Uh, uh, Stotts, excuse me. Uh, relation to Terry Coop? I don't think so, right? <laughs> um, R.E. Luca, there's a lot of variability in calf strains. Uh, the calf is actually a muscle complex made up of multiple muscles. Severity and location will factor into the resulting recovery. Average time loss for calf strains in the NBA this year. 16 days. The median was 17. The median was 3 days. So, Three days, that'd be nice, right? But the average was 16. Uh, it doesn't help that uh, the Mavs got the earliest possible playoff game, just just classic, uh, noon on Sunday against the Utah Jazz. Uh, shout out to the Stars for having a night game. Had to, had to have the Mavs play at 12 o'clock on Saturday. Really, NBA, you couldn't give uh, the Mavs the Sunday night game? It's, it's absolutely rigged. Kidding, kidding, but it is frustrating, I'll tell you that right there. Look, even if it's a grade one, and uh, we'll explore the grades uh, right after the uh, right after what I'm about to say, uh, he's good chance he's missing at least a game. I mean, a grade one calf strain is seven to ten days. We'll compare that to a grade two in just a second. But first, if you want to go bet on the NBA playoffs, if you want to go bet on the Mavs or maybe the Jazz in game one, go do it with BetUS. Chatsports.com slash MFFL promo code MFFL, got to keep the faith. Put your money where your mouth is with BetUS during the NBA playoffs. Uh, if you want to go bet on some Western Conference title odds, Phoenix, huge favorites at plus 115. Golden State at plus 500. You got Memphis at plus 600. Dallas plus 1,000. Uh, and what does that mean? You put 10 bucks uh, for the Mavs to win the West, you win 100 bucks back. 10 to 1 odds there. Uh, Utah at plus 1,200. So Vegas still likes the Mavs to beat uh, the Jazz, so that's good. Maybe they have something, uh, some inside knowledge on Luka 
Doncic. Uh, let's talk about the plan, and then I do want to compare the grades of the calf strain. Mark Stein tweeted this out because there was a lot of, you know, on Twitter, and I think some of it is at least just of, oh, Jason Kidd should have never played Luka, yada, yada, yada. Here's what Stein said. The plan, Jason Kidd said, was to play Luka and the other starters for the entire third quarter tonight, leading to a minimum five-day layoff before game one of the playoffs. And I, I, I kind of understand a little bit, like, hey, you don't want to, you know, just throw your guys out of the routine. But it's one game. You're telling me if they sit one game or half a game that – Come Saturday, they're, they're just going to be flustered? No. Like, this is one of those, you start Luka Doncic and your guys. Why? Because until, uh, uh, why your scoreboard watching, if you win and the Warriors lose, you could get the three seed. But at halftime, this is where the error was made uh, for Jason Kidd. At halftime, the Mavs game was a little ahead of the Warriors, so it wasn't quite halftime for Golden State. But when Dallas entered the locker room, the Warriors were up by about 20 points. Uh, they ended up being up 29 at halftime against New Orleans. They were running away with that thing. At that point in time, you have to play the percentages. And I tweeted, I tweeted this out. We talked about this in the office. Yes, is it a small chance that Luka Doncic would suffer an injury? Yes. I would argue, though, that there's a better chance that Luka Doncic strained his calf or sprained his ankle than uh, New Orleans erasing a 20-plus point deficit while playing all its backups. Just a hunch, I'd have to look at the history of 20-point uh, comebacks uh, without any of your starters playing. I'm guessing it's a very low percentage. Now, Luka getting a calf strain might be 3%. I would say the the Warriors blowing that lead was probably 1%. you got to play the percentages, and Jason Kidd didn't do that, so I think he has to accept some blame. Was it a freak deal? Absolutely. You can't see these things coming, but at the same time, it happened. Now, Grade one versus grade two. There's been a lot of discussion because calf strains are different. Grade one, typical recovery, seven to ten days. But as you saw from Stott's tweet, someone recovered in three days this year. I don't know who that player was. He did not list him. Uh, Frank Nilakina, he came back in three days? No, 12 days for Nilakina. If you want to compare a Mav scenario, 12, 12 days, three games for Nilakina. Uh, the Stott's reference was some player in the NBA came back after three days. Not sure who it was. The average was 16 days. A grade two calf strain, which is probably what rose that average to 16 days, three to six weeks. If he's got a grade two, he's probably missing this series. Now, maybe he tries to come back after a week and a half or like game three or four. He won't be close to 100%, though. And if it's a grade two and you're playing before you're healthy, you talk about risking Achilles at that point. They're just not going to do that. So you're praying it's a grade one. Maybe – he sit, misses just one game and he's good to go beyond that, that's probably the best case. I guess best case is he plays game one and he's close to 100%. That seems unlikely, but uh, I don't know, man. I just I, I wish they would have taken the scoreboard watching into account a little bit more. Like, I get that. You want to be focused. But, guys, you knew going into this, like, if Golden State gets a big lead, you're not getting the three seed. You play the first half straight up. You check where you're at at halftime. Warriors are up 20. I would have sat the, at least Luka in the second half. Maybe some of your other starters get some run. But, uh, yeah, I think that was an error in judgment. And, uh, you know, we could play the what-if game all day long. What if what if they sat Luka and they lost and the Pelicans came back? Well, then, oh, you, you know, we could talk about that scenario. But, again, playing the percentages – I don't think that was very likely. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to us here at Mavericks today. Once we have a clearer uh, picture on what Luca's injury situation is, we'll get a video out. Plus, we plan to do a full series preview probably tomorrow. Uh, Going to be hard to do if we don't know Luca's status. So, Mark Cuban, if you're watching, uh, a little injury update would be nice. Uh, let us know. Uh, slide in the DMs and uh, subscribe. YouTube.com slash Mavs TV. Uh, should the Mavs have rested Luka in the second half? I won't say for the whole game. Anyone saying he should have rested the whole game, that's, that's ridiculous. There was still a chance to get the three seed entering the game. Type Y for yes, type N for no. Should the Mavericks have rested Luka Doncic? So a quick look ahead is uh, this series gets going in, uh, what, five day, four or five days? Five days, Saturday, April 16th, uh, AAC for games one and game two. Uh, now, we don't know when game two is yet. Uh, if – Ideally, you don't have to play again until Tuesday, and then maybe you just sit Luka for game one. That could be the outcome there. Uh, the four-seeded Mavs host the five-seeded Jazz. Um, I think the Mavs need Luka to win this series. Now, you can, you might still be able to win it if he only misses one or two games, but 
if he misses three plus, it's just going to be a tall task. I know Utah hasn't been playing their best basketball, but what are the Mavs without Luka? They're probably what? Probably like the eight or nine seed. They're probably like a 500 team at best. Uh, they're not terrible without Luka, but they're not winning a series against Utah without him. So uh, hopefully it's a grade one. Hopefully he plays. And, uh, you know, if he plays, I expect him to play well. Who you got in this series? Type M for the Mavs. Type J for the Jazz. I'll say this. If Luka's out there, the Mavs should win. If not, the Jazz should win. That's just kind of how it goes. Uh, let us know in the comments. And like I said, subscribe. We'll have more updates very soon.